So I'll just use this whiteboard to explain a little bit about this thing called ice wedging. Now ice wedging happens in rocks because water expands when it freezes. Now you might think of a big rocky outcrop like this, say up on the top of a mountain or something, but when it rains, water might settle inside a crack. And that water, when it freezes, expands just that little bit, and it's got such strength and force, it can push those rocks apart. And when it pushes the rocks apart, the next time, the water can get a little bit further down. The next time you have a frost and it freezes, it expands and pushes the rocks out again. So over hundreds of years, thousands, that's young for rocks, they often talk in millions of years, rocks can split open and maybe even that far. That split between those two rocks may have been caused by ice wedging a long time ago. So that's one practical example where the fact that water expands when it freezes has a big effect on the weathering of some rocks.